You gonna do the intro? Welcome to Pretty Good Cooking. I, I'm Phil and I got the night off, so I'm gonna spend the, this episode in this chair, probably just drinking and maybe heckling. So without further ado, here's Devin and Tracy. <laughs> <laughs> Hello! What a coincidence. We're all drinking. Hey, hey Tracy, how much have you had to drink before we started filming? Sure. Approximately one bottle of wine. <laughs> but it's fine. It's sparkling, so it's kind of like it doesn't exist. So today we're going to be making shrimp pra diablo. One, because it's the only thing I really know how to make, and two, because I'm only good at cooking Italian food. So, First comes first, we have to have all the ingredients on the list. We're also making garlic bread, so I have a garlic and herb baguette. We also have some garlic. We have shrimp, which is already deveined and it has its tails on. Then we have angel hair pasta. We have mozzarella, red pepper flake. We have Devin's beer. We have Bertoli tomato and basil tomato sauce, because I don't make my own tomato sauce, because I'm a heathen also because ain't nobody got time for that. There's also garlic salt and lemon juice and some random bread that Devin picked up because he wanted really bad. It looks good. It looks good. I may eat it. I may not. We'll find out. The first thing is you want to do is you want to prep your ingredients. I've already started taking the tail off of the shrimp, which is the important part. Once you thaw it out, I like to get to like a half thawed position that way when you kind of like take it out, it just pops out like that. For garlic, if you want a, like a really quick way to like peel garlic, just press your hand into it like that. And it's like a quick, easy way to get it to come off all at once. I should have been watching. Is, is that a food hand? Okay, so folks at home, this happened in the past since this video is in the future, but I am now tweeting, live tweeting, like our president, whether or not Devin should eat this bread. So here we go. Devin, look at me. It looks good. <laughs> okay, I got the picture. Nice. All right, should Devin, Devin with an eye? Yes. yes. Eat this, no, not rat. Eat. <laughs> eat this rat. I mean bread. <laughs> Oh, no. It should totally be a rat. Hashtag breadventure. Alright, we'll see what the people have to say. So the next part is you have to fill up your bowl with water. Preferably, you want to put salt in it. Enough so that it tastes like ocean water. So we'll just salt it. Ocean water. So salty as an ex-wife. And then after that, you're going to want to put in some olive oil. And then we'll put that on the stove. And start heating that up. Perfect. That looks like it's gonna burn me. It's gonna be great. And next, we're going to add olive oil into this pan here, which is where the shrimp is gonna go. We're gonna start um, chopping our garlic. I love garlic, which is why there's gonna be a lot of it in here. Yeah, which is a lot. Um, how many cloves it is? <laughs> what? It's a lot! <laughs> Quit judging me! One, two, three, four, five, six. <coughs> six cloves. Thanks, David. How many shrimp is this? A lot. Like the cloves of garlic. More choppy one. Finely minced. My technique right now is just to slice it thin right now. You know, it's get them all. The get them all like that. As it, well, as I get tired of the small knife before I grab the big knife. And while you cook the shrimp, you should totally drink small wine. Because that's a fabulous idea. Do you like reminding yourself? Duh. Someone's got to. Bitch, cooking's supposed to be fun. I like to get the shrimp to the point where like the olive oil kind of, I don't want to say hardens, but it kind of like takes in some of the essence of the shrimp and just kind of burns on the bottom and that way when you mix in the rest of it, it can kind of take in that flavor. We have the garlic uh, chopped. I'm assuming this is how she wants it. I'm not instructed otherwise. It's Let me see. chopped. Yeah, accurate. While this is happening, Please apply butter to the garlic bread, and then some garlic salt, oh. and then mozzarella. I need a butter knife. Remember, folks, how much bread, how much butter you like, depends on how much butter you like. I can't decide that for you. Just keep doing that till you're done. So as you can see, like it's starting to like foam up. I'm not sure if like the artistic culinarian terms for it, but it's starting to foam up, which is pretty much what you want. And then you can also see kind of like the accumulation at the bottom right there of the oil and the. Shrimp mixing in together. We are now going to take the shrimp and put it in the colander over here for a second and let it rest just for a smidge. And then when that happens, take this, take our garlic, plop it in that pan. I also like to add a little more olive oil because I also love olive oil. 
And then, toss the garlic in it just a little bit. Just let it brown. One, two, three. of pepper in this. The point of the sauce is to be an arrabbiata sauce, which in Italian means angry. What happens when Italians get angry? Bitches get spicy. So, you want black pepper. I didn't know that. Devin doesn't know this because he's Irish, so he's always cold. When you mention a healthy dose of pepper, I was thinking, like, who would be knowledgeable in order to give a prescription on what is a healthy dose of pepper and it would be no no other than Dr. Pepper. Cue polite laughter. Put this garlic salt on top of the garlic bread. I also need that olive oil. Whoa. Little okay. little spritz of ever all one on both of these to be honest. Let's, let's pretend we know right. what we're doing today. We don't. That's the inside joke, Captain. Wait, I know what we're doing today. I don't though. Just just a little bit. Kind of like you know, every every once in a while when you when you if you have a significant other, you 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 and her make love, or he and you make love, or what she. What do you mean, just a little? Maybe a little bit. All right, so going back to the arabiata, aka the angry sauce, and let's take in our incarnation. Our incarnation that Devin just gave us. So here's red pepper, and it's the thing that's gonna give you your kick. And I like to apply just enough. Hold on. Screw this. I like to apply enough that when I taste the sauce for the first time, I cough a little bit and I hate my life. So don't ask me for like specific measurements because I don't know. It's until you cough. <laughs> It would have been better if we talked like an Italian accent. I can speak an actual Italian if you want me to. Allora, un po' di arrivata. Aspetta. Phil, see if you cough. <laughs> Did you? <laughs> yeah, I just go. You already started. Right? But a real cough? I'm a, I'm a spicy boy. It takes a lot to make me cough. Alright, so, pasta time. What's gonna happen is, angel hair pasta, make sure it's angel hair. Otherwise, make sure you're not f Oh, what you're gonna do is see how the water's boiling, kind of like how a cauldron. You're gonna add your 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 magic to it, but don't miss like how I did. That's how you mess things up. Oh my God, fire! Now That's of what's course, happening. as we all know how pasta works, it softens. Like a man's dick upon seeing a very ugly woman. Can you say that in Italian? <laughs> <laughs> no, we're there. Oh. So following that. Dump in the shell. No, Stir vigorously. <laughs> Beautiful. All right, finally, the last ingredient on the salt is lemon juice. Now, since I butchered opening this approximately a month ago, it's gonna come out in little spurts. Or kind of like that. The point of the lemon is kind of to reduce the acidity of the whole thing and also add some sweetness and some balance into it because otherwise it gets very spicy and very hot and it kind of ruins your whole life. So, if it gets too spicy for you, add a little bit more lemon juice than you normally would and it tends to help the sauce. It also gives us this pretty iridescent machine that Tipsy Tracy enjoys a lot. Cheers! <laughs> And that's your sauce. So you just let that sit while the pasta cooks. And since it's angel hair, it shouldn't take that long, which means around this time, Devin should be putting the mozzarella onto the garlic bread, and we should be putting that in the oven. Oh shit, it's garlic cheese bread? <laughs> Absolutely. Apparently, it's only oh, 265 temperature. We need a bit higher before I do that. You're jumping the gun! All right, tip for pasta. Angel hair takes less than usual because it's not as dense of a pasta. However, that means you have to watch it more carefully. First step, does it dangle properly or is it stiff? If it's not stiff, then you can introduce it into the mouth test, which is where I put it in my mouth. And I say, damn, 
That's delicious. I'm just sitting here thinking about Dr. Pepper asking, does it, <laughs> does it dangle or does it, does it stick? <laughs> So the point of the pasta is get it to the point of where it's al dente, that means it has, in Italian it means to the teeth, which basically means like when you eat it or when you bite into it, it has a little bit of some toughness to it or like some sort of hesitancy to before it gives way to your teeth. Ouch! And that's hot, so we don't do that. Try to keep a little bit of the pasta water in, because that'll help the um, pasta sauce stick to it. It has a little bit of the starches from the pasta in it still, so that'll help it be a binding agent. Alright, for this part, I would like a pair of tongs, because that makes it easier to grip the pasta and also doesn't turn it into a mush bowl, which is pretty possible. So just kind of slowly incorporate the sauce and the shrimp and everything into that. You want, to, you want to say a fun thing that we say on the show all the time? Hell yeah, I do! Tell them to incorporate in Delaware for tax purposes. <laughs> incorporate in Delaware for tax purposes. And actually that's true. Because as someone who went to law school, a lot of the corporation uh, like problems that we had were totally in Delaware. Because <laughs> Delaware is one of the friendliest states for corporations. In fact, their court law is practically geared towards corporations. So if you want to incorporate, totally do it in Delaware. Let me just say, let me just, let me just say, I'm glad that my advice holds up. You heard it here first. All right, so the bread's gonna go in because we don't have any foil right now, which we should have. Put some more cheese on it. Yeah, that, yeah. that's a good substitution for foil. Yeah. Cheese. Make more cheese. Put more cheese. If you cheese it up, it can't burn, right? right? Here is my thought. There should be enough dairy on this bread that if a baby were to eat it, it wouldn't have to eat breast milk. I'm already constipated. That's your specific metric for cheese measurement? Is like, Absolutely. Okay. That is a lot of cheese. Now you can Have we looked at the cheese oven. here? That's a lot of cheese. It's as cheesy as I want my relationship to be. Don't how, that. How many millimeters of cheese do you think you got there? Probably. Enough to make a dig it, dig it. Okay. I'm worried. You should be. <laughs> anyway, so since you don't have foil on that, you don't want to keep in there for as long as you normally would because you might make it too crispy. By that you mean, I mean, you might make it too hard on the bottom. Because you have cheese and every other shit out of the moon on, on top of it. And you mean worm around the bottom. Do you know what it also is made of cheese though, Devin? The moon. We'll be back in several minutes. That was two minutes. We'll see you then. All right, Tevin. These are the bare necessities oh, of done. life. I'm already done. This is a hairy situation we've got ourselves into, I'm but done. we'll manage to get ourselves out. I'm really hurting because of that. Yeah. So that garlic bread is done. Look at that garlic bread. It's cheesy. It's gorgeous, is what it is. Great. So now that our entrees. And everything else is basically prepared. Eat up! Oh, just kidding. Eat up. <laughs> Play it. Also, important note for viewers at home, I finished that one bottle of wine and moved on to half a bottle of the second. Devin, are you gonna eat this whole thing or not? That's what the what people want to clean. What the people want! <laughs> okay, that was far more civilized than I was expecting. <laughs> He's eating the bread. <laughs> it was one, two. The bite, the bite number forty-five. <laughs> like write a journal. Forty-five. It's getting hard. <laughs> it's just emailing back and forth with Dr. Pepper. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Some mozzarella pasta. Mmm. I my mouth all feel happy. I love pasta. Buenissimo. Buenissimo. I think it's pretty good. Not and bad. that's how you do it. Go.